I loved this movie so much. It it was incredibly truthful and human. And you are so brilliant at creating complex subtext in the stillness of a scene. Um, so how did the intimacy of the cab and essentially working in one very compact location give you kind of the creative freedom for to discover those nuances um, without so many kind of external distractions? It, it was just that really. It was how contained the environment was on set made it feel very real. It really felt like I was alone in the back of a cab with this guy that I was somehow becoming very familiar with. So, you know, the way that we shot the film on a stage and then even just the the basic, the set was inside of a taxi cab and you don't really leave there. So it was... Um, it was just a very like the 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 nuanced performance I think was really supported by how how contained the set was. Absolutely, um, this film for me felt very much like an invitation to connect, um, to create spaces for ourselves to talk about the things out loud that maybe we're ashamed of or whatever it may be. Um, as both an actor and producer on this project, was there a catharsis component? stepping into her shoes and telling a story that that really empathizes I mean I'm sorry emphasizes connection yeah absolutely I I really crave watching cinema about human connection and um you know humanity so yes for sure that's so much of why I wanted to to make this film yeah, I was talking to Christy about how this this film almost, it sounds dramatic, but it kind of restored my faith in storytelling. Um, and like some of my favorite movies, it just puts character first and foremost. And obviously, I think like a lot of that is her background in theater. And it felt very much like watching a play. And it gave you that intimacy that I think we crave so much, which was just um, your profound performance just was a perfect match for that setting. Thank you. Um, I'd love to quickly talk about the specificities of your character from like, like the aesthetics of her. Her nails were kind of mesmerizing and the cell phone cover and just the way that you, you know, touched your neck, just all those felt very purposeful. Can you talk about kind of those choices and crafting that? Yeah, I think, I mean, when we were in prep and we were trying to figure out girly's look I was like I think she's blonde she mm. just feels blonde to me so we had we made this incredible wig and then um my nails yeah I just felt like that was her I don't know I I we had a sort of I made a mood board and Christy and I talked through things and it was like she's a little bit different she's she's a modern woman she's very much like I'm just gonna be who I want to be and clearly she loves these like weird like dreamy colors so because she's a coder I figured she'd probably want to look at something rad all day obviously you're not supposed to look at your fingers when you type I know but you know she's she's they're also sexy and she's sexual and she's provocative and she's so there was like, since you're not seeing her body and there's no physicality, it was like, how do we, how do we add little details to her look and to who she is that give you a little, a little bit more detail? Right. It felt very much like she was feminine. She was masculine. She was kind of like all of these things. And it really, like she, from the moment that you kind of step on screen to when she gets in the cab, you're like, oh, you're not going to be able to like box in this woman or like allow yes. you know and, and it was incredibly powerful um but that's my time I could talk about this movie forever um it truly meant so much to me it affected me so much so thank you so much that's so kind thank you I'm glad you like this